Yeah, so I've uh, received the official offer from the Saudi club and I've decided to take it. Um, it's a two year deal that for me and my family is just uh, too good an offer to turn down. Which is a bit bittersweet because uh, there was a substantial offer that was made from the Wanderers, uh, which really made my decision even harder. You know, I thank them for that and it really shows how much I mean to them and I really appreciate it and respect them a lot for that reason. Uh, if you weigh up certain options, for me being 29 now, uh, with five, six years being at the top level left, possibly, uh, the financial side of things can be the, an important factor in my decision. Um, I sat down with my wife uh, and made that decision collectively uh, and what was best for our family. And in the two years that, they're, that I'm signing for is, is a contract that will help set me and my family up for life after football. So it was an easy decision to make. Um, to say goodbye to this, a lot of those boys that I've become lifelong friends with is, is the hardest thing I think for me. You know, you do create such a good bond with the players, you make lo lifelong friends. Even even all everyone at the club, all the young boys as well, I've, I had a good connection with. <laughs> my, I know my parents aren't very happy with me leaving. So it's a, it was even a tougher decision for that reason because obviously it meant so much for me coming back, surprising them. From what I've learned from my dad is being, being that grafter from, from his uh, early days, still taking him until he's retired to still support his family um, you know so for me being presented an opportunity like this that can help secure our future has made that decision uh, a lot easier remember where you were when mitch duke returned to the a-link into the near post how about that to be able to come out in the scene like that for the wanderers was like the perfect start for me personally um, and then I was just happy to continue that on. Um, obviously scoring in the derby and, I th and going undefeated throughout the derbies. I think I've played four with the Wanderers and not been beaten, so I'll be going away pretty happy with that. Um, and then obviously the armband was the biggest thing and probably the most proudest moment in my club football career. Um, and I'll always look, up, look back on that and I feel like it's made me an even better player, which is what you've probably seen this year. Um, I've had my best personal career year yeah, so um, I look back on that and I thank the Wanderers for believing in me, for actually being able to do that and think I was the man for the job to, to carry out that armband. And I do believe that the players and the coaching staff will repay that back to the club and to the fans next season. Stay positive, stay loyal, keep your passionate support. Uh, it means the world to the players, to the club. Um, and you know, you, we want to keep setting that standard for the club. Fill out that stadium and, and show everyone that we are a big club and the fans are, are second to none as well. And uh, just keep believing. And I, I, I believe the club is close to getting back to that success. And if I do come back to the A-League, uh, Wanderers will definitely be my number one priority. Um, if things work out that way, mate, there's, there's only one club I'd love to come back to. Uh, it's where, I, where I'm from, it's where I represent. Um, and, you know, being leaving as the captain, you know, I'd love to come back and, and help that club, hopefully eventually have some success with the club myself. Um, so definitely not closing the door to that opportunity and uh, see what happens in the near future.